It's an honor and pleasure to welcome you all to beautiful Punta Gorda and to the Punta Gorda Community Hospital. As today we witness a historic event, the European Union and the Health Sector Support Program, Handover, of a series of retrofitting Punta Gorda Hospital being one of the hospitals that now becomes a smart and resilient hospital. Under the project of the 11th European Development Agreement between Belize and the European Union, Punta Gorda Hospital now can withstand a hurricane tree category. I think this renovation process was timely. I know one of the first areas that was broken down was the accident and emergency. And when the wall was demolished to extend the accident and emergency, we found out that there was no columns and pillars on the wall. So besides it being a, a smart and resilient, it also was a timely project um, to identify gaps in the infrastructure, which was, was one of the main components in the, re, in the remodeling. It is indeed my pleasure to be here today representing the Pan American Health Organization and the World Health Organization for the inauguration and handover of this newly retrofitted smart Punta Gorda Community Hospital. I have come in on the back end. I know when the launch was taking place, you had a previous PWR, Dr. Jack, who was very instrumental in um, getting this project on the ground. And so for me, it is a pleasure to really be here for the official launch of this facility, the first of the six facilities. I'm really very happy to be here today for this, uh, for this inauguration, because I was here just three months ago, uh, looking at the, at the end of the works. It looked uh, quite well at that moment. Um, and I'm very happy because uh, it, it, it's something that what has been done here, it's something that it's uh, really needed. And uh, I'm very satisfied that uh, with the EU support, uh, it, it, it gives, it, it, it produces something that means something uh, for the population and for the workers of the, of the hospital. You know, it's always good to receive. You, you, you have kids at home and you don't take them a prison. Now and again, they are not very happy with you. You know, yesterday, we gave away six houses. Three in Dangriga and three in Bear Vista Village. And somebody said to us, look at the joy on their faces. You know, it's, it's really a wonderful thing when people are willing to help. And, you know, Belize has always been very lucky in getting the necessary assistance when they need it. It is indeed a great pleasure to be here this morning in this beautiful, wonderful ceremony in which we are seeing the inauguration of a newly retrofitted and upgraded Punta Gorda Hospital. I want to start off by asking you, to kindly recognize with a hearty round of applause every single donor, the Minister of Health, and everyone who has helped to make this a reality. As we gather here this morning, I want to, to begin by saying that I really like the theme of this project, achieving a better quality of life for all Belizeans living now and in the future. Those are our future on our left, our young people. It fits with the vision of the Ministry of Health and Wellness. This hospital serves an approximate 42,000 persons in the Toledo district, of which almost 7,000 live in Punta Gorda, according to the 2022 mid-year census estimate. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. 
this. One of the things we are doing is that we are we are we're working with the regional manager to see how we can address by having more um, specialized doctors come into the facility to, to, to adjust some of those needs uh, and that hopefully that will reduce uh, the, the need for having to send our patients all the way down to Southern Region on a regular basis. Um, all of these are work in progress that has to be done. Uh, we, we, we are very committed in ensuring that we address the human resource gaps that exist uh, in Belize uh, and it's not just Belize that faces those issues but it's a global problem. Uh, but we are very much cognizant of that and we are trying our very best to see how we can provide more uh, services here uh, for the people of Punta Gorda so that we could reduce uh, the amount of transfers that has to, be, has to take place uh, between here and the southern region. Yeah, and can you tell us what's your take overall after touring this hospital? Well, when, when listening to the testament from the nurse, you know, it, it makes you... Um, much more pleased to see that what has been done um, has been a major upgrade. Uh, and in speaking to Dr. Saw here while we were doing the tour, I mean, uh, Punta Gorda, uh, as he had said, there was a digital x ray machine sitting in a box uh, for the past six years. Now that is now fun fully functional. Uh, we have a functional digital x ray, uh, we have a better restroom and uh, facilities for both the staff and patient. There's much more um, usage of uh, places that were storage rooms now, uh, now are able to, to be done in consultation rooms. So we, we've seen a major improvement and, I, and, and from the discussions we have had just talking to people here, uh, you've heard the, the testament that it's like night and day, uh, major improvement. And this is what, how we, we are able to then provide a better quality healthcare for the Belgian people.